Yahuchanan, John 18. When Yahusha had spoken these words, he went forth with his Talmudim over the brook Kidran, where was a garden, into the which he entered, and his Talmudim. And Yahuda also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Yahusha oft times resorted thither with his Talmudim. Yahuda then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and parashim, came thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Yahusha, therefore, knowing eth all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Yahusha the Netzari. Yahusha said unto them, I am he. And Yahuda also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he heard, said unto them, I am he. They went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Yahusha the Netzari. Yahusha answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. That the saying might be fulfilled, which he spoke, Of them which you gave me have I lost none. Then Shimon Kepha, having a sword, drew it, and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Melech. Then said Yahusha unto Kepha, Put up your sword into the sheath. The cup which my father has given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and officers of the Yahudim took Yahusha and bound him, and led him away to Hananyahu first, for he was father-in-law to Kayapha, which was the high priest that same year. Now Kayapha, rather Kayapha, was he which gave counsel to the Yahudim that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Shimon Kepha followed Yahusha, and so did another Talmudi. That Talmudi was known unto the high priest, and went in with Yahusha into the palace of the high priest. But Kepha stood at the door without, then went out that other Talmudi, which was known unto the high priest, and spoke unto her that kept the door, and brought in Kepha. Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Kepha, Are not you also one of this man's Talmudim? He said, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there, who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Kepha stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Yahusha of his Talmudim and of his doctrine. Yahusha answered him, I spoke openly to the world I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Yahudim always resort, and in secret have I said nothing. Why do you ask me? Ask them which heard me what I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Yahusha with the palm of his hand, saying, Answer you the high priest so? Yahusha answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why do you smite me? Now Hananyahu had sent him bound unto Kayapha the high priest. And Shimon Kepha stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Are not you also one of his Talmudim? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose, whose ear Kepha cut off, said, Did not I see you in the garden with him? Kepha then denied again, and immediately the cock crew. Then led they Yahusha from Kayapha unto the hall of judgment, and it was early, and they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled. But they 
rather, but that they might eat at the Pekach. Pilate then went out unto them, and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said unto him, If he were not a criminal, we would not have delivered him up unto you. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to the Torah. The Yahudim therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, that the saying of Yahusha might be fulfilled, which he spoke, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall, and called Yahusha, and said unto him, Are you the king of the Yahudim? Yahusha answered him, Say you this thing of yourself, or did others tell it you of me? Pilate answered, rather answered, Am I a Yahudi? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you unto me. What have you done? Yahusha answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Yahudim. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are you a king then? Yahusha answered, You say that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Yahudim, and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. But ye have a custom, that I should release unto you one at the Pekach. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Yahudim? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Bar-Abba. Now Bar-Abba, was a robber.